Hey y'all, good morning. I am back at Walmart. I am sitting in the car, Walmart. <laughs> I am sitting in the car. Um, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I got, got me some Dunkies. I got a bagel and then I got me my coffee um, to start my day. Always make sure to treat yourself. It took my sister still telling me, you know, to make sure you treat yourself. It's okay to go out without your kids. It's okay to not take them and get them a surprise at a store or it's okay to get a coffee if that's what you're doing. Um, but I came here by myself. I had to because I have to go Easter shopping. I have to get Easter basket stuff, more eggs. We're having a little hunt um, with the neighbors. My hair Okay, so I washed it this morning, but I didn't blow dry it or like straighten it or curl it. So this is all natural and it's fluffy. Um, but anywho, so we're having a um, a little Easter hunt with our neighbors. <clears throat> and um, so I got to get some of that stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm tired already. It's only 830 in the morning, but I've already cleaned up the house a little bit. I unloaded the dishwasher, scooped the cat litter, made everybody breakfast. Um, and then got myself dressed, got my daughter dressed. Poor thing fell yesterday and busted her tooth into her lip. So she's got such a fat lip today. You know, thank God I have a sister in the dental field because <laughs> I probably would have took her to the emergency room. Because I know inside the mouth they can't stitch and stuff. But like her tooth was just. It was almost through. Um, but her poor little lip is just so swollen. And she's just such a happy little person. Trooper. So. Yep. So I'm going to eat that. And then we're going to go inside. And I'm going to take y'all with me. Yeah. Hey y'all. In today's video we're going to be going over what I had purchased for the kids Easter baskets. Um, I wanted to do like a little shop with me, but I had gotten so overwhelmed at the store because they just didn't have anything. Um, or the things that they had weren't really stuff I wanted to put in my kids' baskets. Like I like to give my kids like little dollar toys that I know they're going to break the third time they use them, which is going to be okay. Not pencils and papers because that's all they ever get normally any other time anyways. So they just didn't have anything and I was super overwhelmed and then I forgot, but I did get some stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out, show you guys, and I'm going to get their baskets put together and then get them hidden in the closet. Okay, so first things first, I've gotten two things of the little grass. I wanted to invest in baskets for my kids, but they are still just at the messy stage of their life and not really caring too much. So they like to play with them without, like my son, he stuck the stickers on his from last year. So, I mean, we moved so much, I would be so heartbroken if I spent money on a personalized item and we lost it or it got ruined or damaged. These, you know, they're 98 cents at Walmart. We just get them and we go on. And then this is my daughter's, the little unicorns. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put a whole one in his and then a whole one in hers. And then the next thing that I bought my kids were these confetti eggs. Um, they're where you crack them and they're just all sorts of the, like the little confetti stuff. So I've gotten those. Let me try to adjust you. Yeah. Does that work? That works. So I'm going to go ahead and get those put in. One for each kid. Um, I got peeps, like sucker, like lollipop. They actually, my kids have never had a peep. I'm not a fan of peeps. I used to when I was a kid, but I'm not. Um, but my kids have never actually tried them. So, and then I got in two things of the cookies and cream Oreo <laughs> um, little chocolate bunnies. And then in this bag. 
Um, and then I got these cute little Busy Bunny activity books. So it's got like stickers, a um, little crossword puzzle in it, something for them to do. So I've gotten two of that to put in their things. I've gotten each kid a Pez. They love the seasonal peasants. Yeah. And that's hers. Um, I've gotten each a notepad so they can write stuff down. Now, my daughter has been asking for a jump rope, and I wanted to buy her a jump rope um, that had like the little metal, not metal, the hard plastic on the side so when she actually goes to do it, it actually makes it around her head. They had this for 98 cents, so I just picked it up. It's got a cute little bunny on it. So I picked that up for her. I couldn't find another one for my son, so they're just going to have to share, which is, I hate doing that. But she's been asking, and it's cheaper than at the dollar store, which now is, my store has officially moved over to the five-quarter store. I've gotten each child the, um, ball on a string boop, 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 thing. Um, and then this one I thought was super cool for 98 cents. You see that? They are a pen with multi colors but they smell good. So like the colors smell. I know you guys remember that markers you used to constantly get caught sniffing <laughs> in school. Um, so now they have them in pens which I thought was pretty cool. Just gotta make sure blue and pink. And I found these, I, and I knew these would get broke the minute they unwrap them, because they're just flimsy foam, but they were 98 cents, and I got them the little build your own airplane, so I got one for each kid. Red, of course, is for Phoenix, and then we'll give the blue to my, to the six, my sisters. <coughs> And then last and final bag, I had just got them some clothes. I wanted to get my son, they had, um, what else did they have? They had, um, I wanted to get him a onesie, like a pajama onesie, but they didn't have any. I should have grabbed them when I saw them, because I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. They didn't have them, but they did have a Mario pajama set. So I got that for his his back. And then that'll just go right in the back. And then for, so that's his basket, all super stuffed to the brim. And then for sis, I have got her these cute little dresses. She's in a dress phase, so I got her cute little JoJo's, but it says Be Kind, which is an autism awareness, like, motto, logo. Um, and with her brother being autistic and it being Autism Awareness Month, I thought that that was just absolutely too perfect. So there's two of those. She's going to die. And then the same thing will go in the back. <clears throat> now, I did not get my kids. Um, all right, let me go ahead and just show you her cute little basket first. Go to the brim. Now, I do not get my kids a lot of candy because this year especially we're going to be doing um, with all our neighbors. So, I live in a duplex home. My neighbor next door, she has a son. The duplex next to us, we're really good friends with. She has a son and then the one next to her, they have a son and a daughter. And so, our little four houses, we had just become the bestest of friends. and. Our kids are really close, so we're going to get together. I had already purchased everything, and we're going to do like a little egg hunt in our front yard. We also have blow-up inflatables that we'll put up, and we'll get some pizza and just kind of have a good neighbor get-together with our kids. So I got each kid um, stuff to make like a goodie bag after their egg hunt, because Phoenix doesn't like if the candy's on the insides, because if it melts, it stresses him out. So we just do empty eggs, and then you get a goodie bag at the end. Same with our home, when the Easter Bunny comes in the morning, um, the only thing that has stuff in it is the golden egg, and there's, mo and there's money in it. Sorry, I got caught. <laughs> I'm trying to film this video, but not talk too much. 
Um, so the only thing that's filled are the golden eggs, which have money in them. But the rest of the eggs, they're not. And then we hide their baskets, and they once their egg hunt's done in the morning of Easter, they have to go find their Easter baskets. So we hide those. We have done it since the, each kid has been one years old. It's been a tradition in my family. <sighs> Granted, I'm not trying to take my family traditions, but it's something that my husband really fell in love with when we would do it. And my kids really like having to find their baskets. And it's just a good time. I'm definitely going to take you guys along with us as I'm going to show you how I make Easter dinner and how we clean up after Easter because it's going to be it is it's going to be a mess. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.